Shalom. I'm doing a product, well, a mini product review on the So Cool uh, product line, the sewing machine, as well as the uh, products that come in the line, and as well as just giving you a little glimpse into our upcoming school year's elective, uh, in particular, sewing. So let's jump right in. Now this is the So Cool sewing machine and I had purchased it and featured it in another haul that I in a haul that I did about a month or so ago, a couple months back, and it comes with this uh, package of fabric which makes a and the fabric is pre-cut. It makes a pocketbook and also there is fabric in here to make a uh, cat pillow and it also comes with stuffing for the cat pillow now these come separately and these are other pro uh, projects that you can do with the machine and over here you this is to make an, an outfit for a doll over here as shown in the picture you have fabric here to make a an apron a pocketbook and a wallet so I'm just going to turn it over in the back so that you can see what it looks like and this one yes is for a, a child that's a little bit older but this one she could probably do if not now maybe a year from now or so so there were some projects that she actually did with the sewing machine already which I will show you right now so now this is the little bin that I had purchased for her recently and we keep all of her sewing material and uh, little projects that she's done in here so Here's another so-and-so. This comes from another so-and-so uh, product line. And it's a little mini pizza pillow. And you have your little Sunday pillow. And uh, the cheeseburger pillow. The triple double scoop pillow. And the donut. So she made all of these with her so-and-so. Now, taking a look inside, and oh, I forgot to mention that the so-and-so, it does not have a needle uh, for them to get uh, stuck with. So, it's a pretty safe machine. I highly recommend it. Um, I don't know how exactly, because it doesn't require threading a needle, or it doesn't require a needle. It just kind of seams everything together so I'll just show you so that you can see you just run it through the machine and it you know uh, seems it it just um, as I said before I highly recommend it now here are a few fabric uh, swatches that I picked up from uh, Target and some uh, markers here that I picked up at the Dollar Tree fabric markers and also I picked up some belt sheets so all of these things I we would keep in here so these type of bulk things will be kept in this box here and so let me move this over and then she has her little actual sewing machine, sewing kit right here. This is something that I picked up uh, about a month or so ago from Amazon.com. And inside it has little swatches, little decals in here and buttons and so on. In here, this has her little needle it holds her needles her measuring tape and the scissors so it's very very cute and it has also the felt fabric swatches as well and some instructions on how to create the 
activities that are in here, as well as there is thread in here, little beads and stuffing. So this she will definitely be using to house her needle and so, needles and so on. Also, we have this book, Sewing School, and this book uh, comes in two, uh, in two parts. The first part, this is the first one, which is Sewing School. The next one they have is Sewing School 2. And I think Sewing School 2 is more with working with machines. Sewing School 1 is basic hand sewing and it shows you i love this book i've been just going through it and it has an introduction for the adults how to use the book so it rates um by star from difficulty for difficulty level it um shows you um how to create a basic kit and what to put in it and it even shows you uh what materials that you can use from around the house to create and also clothing for the dolls as well so this I thought was great and once we start getting into sewing with a real sewing machine I will get the sewing machine plus um, book two on this there is also another book that we have it's called made by me and I love this book as well it shows how to um, basically sew with basic patterns it shows also how to use different things around the house to create a sewing um, work box so it would have um, jelly jars over here to use for pin cushions and thread and what have you it has uh, an egg crate over here um, a snack container over here and it shows you uh, basic stitching, picture picture sti stitching, excuse me, t-shirt uh, adornments. It shows you, uh, it has a stitch directory over here. And uh, different types of stitches, uh, pixel picks, sewing, it gets into actual sewing. Um, teaches you how to make basic things like lavender bags, um, pocket lock, lockets, all of these different beautiful things. And I wanted to show you also, um, oh, and how to make dolls. So it get it, the um, complexity goes from basic to, of course, a little bit more advanced. So this is something that will. Uh, this is an elective that can go on for quite a few years that's why I like it and it teaches a great skill and it shows different patterns it has the doll patterns in the back and it shows you knitting as well knitting crocheting just different things like that in here and I wanted to show you, I think it's in the, in this, in the sewing school book. It has the machine that we would like to get next, which is the Genome. And that machine is this one here. So this would be the machine that we would get next um, to start the real sewing. And this is a machine that is highly, that comes highly recommended. Um, so if you have a child that is maybe seven, eight, nine years old, this would be a perfect uh, starter machine for them. And how I get um, my daughter started, of course, well, basically do basic things such as the lacing beads. So we went with the big ones first and then we went with the small ones with the smaller um, with the smaller string and then after that we moved on to the lacing cards okay which you know these are all basic fine motor skills then from there we moved on to this Melissa and Doug puzzle 
which is the lacing bear and you have to lace different outfits here onto the bear so that requires a little bit more eye hand coordination and fine motor skills and uh, critical thinking skills because they have to figure out how to place the um, the string um, so that it wouldn't conflict with the bear's face or you know anything like that and how everything will hold together without it without the string showing so I thought that was pretty interesting that was a great way to teach um, sewing and just um, more fine motor development as well and also for um, another project we will be doing well she will be doing actually is this woolly sheep embroidery kit and I purchased this from the timber doodle uh, online store and this was on sale at the time it was a closeout sale so I had gotten this I don't think they have them anymore but um, this is what it looks like and um, yeah so that's it with that um, we did have another sewing machine from my older daughter but that's when she was little and she just ran them up with it. it I got it from the Discovery Kids store and I'm just trying to take it out right now but I don't even think it works I'm just going to go over it and see but I just wanted to take it out and show it to you guys really quick and here's what it looks like and it comes with a foot pedal so and yeah you can actually it has the AC adapter so you can plug it in and this is a real sewing machine but like I said I think she kind of messed it up so I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that but just so these are just some of the things that I wanted to show you regarding our elective for sewing for um, the school year my daughter really loves sewing and I just wanted to um, give you guys a little snippet of what she's made so far so I am going to now um, end the video by putting the link to the uh, little clip of how she was sewing and making her little pillows thanks for watching and stay tuned for more to come and by the way, all new subscribers, welcome and thank you for subscribing. Take care. Stay on the line, okay? Good job. It's okay. <laughs> It's only practice, Jasenia. It's okay. I forgot to put this in. Oh, okay. That's why you put, press the remote as we stop. to get something to hold the bottom to hold it because when the machine is on it moves a lot so it's all right you gotta close that part yeah hey go in you go in the ice cream all right well let me help you let me help.